everybody. It is Monday, March 21st. And I don't have to look at a calendar or anything like that, and I don't have to second guess what I'm saying. Because I'm wearing this shirt. And, uh, yeah, it's one of three sobriety shirts I have that I bought for myself. This one, obviously, saying. Maybe I should have just done that. Hopefully my camera catches all of it. <laughs> um, sobriety is my superpower. I think the only other superpower I have is uh, injuring myself without trying. Um, the other couple I have is... Uh, actually, let me... See if I, can. I already wore them this week, but... The other couple I have are this one, which I wore yesterday. I just bought these, so they're actually, uh, probably wore them once. This one. Which says, Recovery 2017, established in 2017. From 100 proof to living proof. I kind of like, I actually I really like that one. I like the color too. And then this one is really cool. I wore this one out with my best friend. Now when I wore out to family dinner yesterday, we kind of celebrated my birthday too because I'm having surgery on Wednesday. That is happening pretty sure. Um, so I will talk about that at the end of this video. Just for the beginning of my video, I'm just showing my shirts that I have. I just bought these last week. And then this one says, this one actually wore out to a brewery, which I celebrated with uh, my best friend and his wife on Saturday. I celebrated my um, sobriety anniversary then. Kicking addiction's ass, proud to be sober and happy. Established 2017, one day at a time, and the one day at a time, well, kicking addiction's ass, one day at a time, that goes together, but the one day at a time is symbolic. Um, because, well, 321, I, I don't know how I didn't start the video off this way, today is five years. Five years sober. Um, wow, <laughs> that's, uh, considering I drank for, I have my, my dog tag on, this is sober since 2117 on one side, and one day at a time on the other, hence the shirt. I'm gonna be all over the place this video, I didn't, I'm very happy today, but I'm also very frazzled because I haven't been sleeping well, um, because my hip, um, but, uh, the fact that I drank from... April of 2013 to March of 2017, that's a little, that's a month, well, it's, it was like three weeks short of four years that I drank, um, and I haven't, and I, since, since the day that I was able to drink, I ha I've been sober for five years, um, so I drank for three weeks short of four years, and I've been sober for five, so to be you know, full-blown alcoholic for, let's just say that the entirety of the time that I was drinking, three years, 11 months, two weeks, and to be sober for five, like, I've been sober 30% longer, or 20%, whatever that is, longer than I was a drunk, um, and that's kind of something that kind of blows my mind, is that I've been sober way longer than I was an and I was an alcohol, I was an alcoholic. Um, and I have my sobriety quote uh, still framed on my, um, on my, yeah, I'm going to keep getting up for this video. Um, I think I have my camera on manual focus, so I don't think I'm going to have to refocus my camera every time. Um, I still have my favorite quote, um, framed. <sighs> God, it's dusty. I can, I can see the dust floating above it from, I have a ring light right next to my camera. But uh, that's my favorite sobriety quote, and I have it framed, and it's uh, on my way out of my room. So I have to look at it every time I leave my room. Um, sobriety is never owned, it's rented, and rent is due every day. I don't know why I didn't look at it, but I, it, I, well, I didn't have to look at it, it's just something that I like to look at. Um, but it's my favorite quote, so I have it framed and I have it up there. Um, so I have the dog tag I wear every day, because it's got, the engraving is pretty shallow. 
um, and it's and it's just engraving. It's not colored in, um, so you have to like really look at it to see what it says. But it's just it's hard. It's means something to me, and it's not something that like I wear it to give myself strength on the days that I really struggle. Um, but I have one that I made through a different company um, that I don't know why I hooked it through my through my hands so so uh, aggressive because you can't see it. So this one I have. Um, and a bigger dog tag, but it's engraved in like black writing. So you can actually, it's engraved, but it's got like, it's colored in black. So you can see sober since 321.17 on one side, and then one day at a time on the other. And the one day was like meshed into one word, so it's like one day at a time. <laughs> but uh, but um, this one I have hanging around. I have a, a three tiered light in my the corner of my room, and I have it hanging around that. Um, and my desk is right next to the light. So when I'm working at my computer or playing games on my computer or just journaling or doing whatever, I get to look over there and, and see this, you know, and I can swivel it in whatever and, and look at it because this chain, I mean, I can have the chain re the replaced, whatever, but this chain is uh, painful as hell because it hooks into your hair, yanks it, and it's awful. Um, but also the dog tag itself, it weighs a ton. I mean, this one is super light, but this thing, it's got some weight to it. I mean, it's, it's heavy. Um, so it's better off just hanging in my room and just being a symbol of, you know, of strength in my room. Um, but yeah, today it's five years sober, so usually on my anniversaries I just kind of, you know, explain why I did, why I got sober and how I got sober and, uh, and talk about how ridiculous it is that I've gotten this far, because today is one, 1,826 days, I think, is what my sobriety app said. Um, I still have the I Am Sober app from I, iTunes. I don't know if it's on Google Play too, but um, it's. Whoops. Yeah. I had to verify my email. Fuck you. Um, it's yeah, 1,826 days sober. Um, and actually, yeah, there it is. Five years sober. Woo! And I posted a picture and everything, and it was cool. And then on the I Am Sober app, it's really cool because you can go to. They have different tabs. There's progress, which shows you like how much. Um, time you've, you know, time you've saved. So I put down that like three hours a day, that's two, three hours a day was like the average m amount of time that I wasted that I could have like spent doing something productive or spending time with family or friends or whatever. So by time saved over that 1,826 days, I've saved 5,478 hours worth of time that I could have spent, you know, I've saved 5,478 hours uh, in the time that I've been sober that I would have been drinking, doing, you know, wasting time away, being drunk, being whatever. Um, but truthfully, I don't think I would be here making this video had I kept drinking. Like, and I'll, and I'll, I'm getting to a couple things in this video. I'm going to try not to make this video a really long one, but I want to get to two things in this video that I, I, um, a, a post that I made on Facebook yesterday, and then a video I found yesterday on my iCloud. I didn't even realize I had set up. Um, so I'm gonna read. I'm gonna show you the video, and I'm gonna read um, the post. And I think that's just gonna how I'm gonna cap out the video. But for 5,478 hours, if I divide that by 30, I'm, I'm sorry. If I divide that by 24 hours, so 500. 5,478 hours divided by 24, that is 228 and a quarter days. And if you divide that by 30, that's 7.6 months. 7.6 months. That's almost three quarters, that's, well, it's two thirds of a year almost that I saved in time just drinking my life away. Um, that I saved to do other stuff like be crippled. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's just, you know, it's just, that's incredible. And then how much money I was spending. Oh God! I mean, I, well, I'm, not, I'm still broke, but um, oh my God! Based on how much money I was spending per day at my worst, because that's how I kind of averaged it. Was like at my worst, like where was I spending money, or how much money was I spending? And then at my like my least worst, where was I spending my money, or how much money was I spending? I kind of tried to average it out. In the 1,826 days I've been sober, I have saved $27,390. Estimated. That's unfucking real. 
that's enough to buy a brand new car. I could buy a brand new Honda Civic or Honda Accord with that, or Honda CRV. I mean, that's on I twenty seven thousand dollars I've saved without drinking. That's holy fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna avoid that. Um, but no, I I stopped drinking in twenty seventeen because I. In 2016, I'm going to get to that on my birthday, because my birthday just is a symbolic day of how the hell have I made another year because of my drinking, because of what I've been through, and because of my birthday in 2016, but I'm going to get through that, get to that on my birthday, because my birthday is kind of the day that I just share the story of 2016 when I almost died on my birthday. Got to get to that in a different time. But, so, tune into that video on my birthday, which is April 8th, which is two weeks from Friday. I'm going to make a video on my birthday because my birthday kind of holds a weird, a weird, um, a weird, like it holds a, a, a stronger meaning in my life now, not just like I made it another year, but it'll make sense. Just watch the video on April 8th. Um, but today, it's more so that a month before I stopped drinking, I helped a friend move to Milwaukee and um, in that day, because I don't stay overnight, I just helped him move to Milwaukee, and I live near Chicago, so we went up to Milwaukee, which is like a 90 minute drive, but then we went to have lunch to like celebrate his move, and then at lunch, I believe I had four beers, um, and then I drove back to Chicago, itch, you know, I live near Chicago, and I drove back to Chicago, so, um, and that was just for lunch, like, it was just like, it was like 12.30, 1 o'clock, and I was, and I had four beers, like, that was just the normal, normal trip drink whatever um and the beer i think had a five and a half percent alcohol content it was it, it was not not miller light but it was not like gold monkey where it was 10 percent alcohol i was telling my sisters about that yesterday i was like have you ever had gold monkey alcohol or, or i'm sorry i was telling my best friend about that the other day i was like i had like four gold monkeys at pride fest back in 2015 and i was schlacked i was i was gone i don't even know if that's the right word i was hammered um because I had had no food that day. It was it was bad time. Anyways, um, but yeah, in 2017, I, I helped a friend move, and then the day after that, the day after I helped my friend move to uh, Milwaukee, I drove the first leg of a trip down to North Carolina to visit a friend I had met online six years prior or something like that. We had talked forever, and I went to go visit him, and I drove to Charleston, West Virginia, that was my halfway point to Wilmington, North Carolina, and in, in Charleston, West Virginia, overnight, just to stay overnight, just to get through overnight to the next morning to drive the other leg, I had a whole large Domino's pizza and a 12-pack of beer, knowing that the next morning I was going to be driving another eight hours. So, and that was February 18th, 2017, so this is legitimately a month before I stopped drinking, and... I think that next morning I drove I drove that other eight hours, but I had to stop at every rest stop because I was driving a month after back surgery. I made a whole lot of bad decisions when I was drinking. Um, and that was my first back surgery, actually. And um, and I and I had to stop at every rest stop to, to loosen my back, but I was stopping used to the bathroom every time because I was not feeling great because I had a whole large Domino's pizza, not the best pizza in the world, and then I had 12 beers you know, in the span of a couple hours and then passed out drunk and then I was waking up the next morning and had to drive eight hours. So it was not a good experience and then I got down there and we had a good night but then he saw me at my worst that whole week because I was just drinking and not stop and he did not like the person that I was in person and I kind of had a bad feeling that he was going to see me at my worst and it was just... It was a weird week because, like, he liked that we finally got to met, uh, meet, and I liked that we finally got to meet. But also, I was a complete mess, and I was completely, my mind was just in a different place than where I was, like, physically. And it was just not a good week, and I just knew that um, I needed to stop drinking to get those thoughts gone. So, I remember I came back from that trip, and I went to Charleston, West Virginia, and I went to that same liquor store, I think I bought a six-pack, so I did less um, but then I still drank a six pack overnight um, I think in the, I think in the course of that trip I think I had I, I don't think I had any hard liquor I don't think 
but I think I had, in the course of that trip, I probably had somewhere in the range of an eight-day trip, eight, nine, ten-day trip, somewhere in there, um, well, I had 18 beers in Charleston, and I think I had somewhere in the range of that in Wilmington, too, so I probably had about 36 beers in a week, um, which sounds like a lot, but for me back then, not a whole lot, which is terrifying, um, but yeah, I probably had somewhere in the neighborhood of 36 to 40, maybe 45 beers in that week that I was driving to Charleston, going to Wilmington, driving back to Charleston, driving back home. And then when I got back home, I remember I pounded back 24 Miller Lights that night because I was so miserably depressed at how I acted down there. I drove a thousand miles to meet somebody and then acted like an asshole the whole week. So I knew that I needed to change. And then I bought a 12 pack of Spotted Cow in Wisconsin and I brought it back to, to Illinois because you only buy it in Wisconsin, and I made that last an entire month. Um, I made the 12-pack last 30, 30 or 29 days, something like that, and the last one I drank, I'll get to something else in a second. Uh, the last one I drank, I remember I took the last sip, I looked at the bottle, and I flipped open the lid to my garbage can, and I just looked at the bottle, and I said, I cannot do this to myself anymore, and I threw the bottle away, and that was the last sip of alcohol I ever took, ever. And now here I am five years later. So I had a realization the year before that I almost I almost died because I was drinking so much and, and that didn't stop me. But then I had a realization a month, a month, I'm not laughing because it's funny, I just cannot believe that I made it back from that trip alive. Um, because I drove 2,600 miles in that trip and I had 40, like 40 beers in the, in the course of that 2,600 miles over, over, the, over the span of a, a week, but still 46 beers while driving them. I don't even, I mean, not while driving, but like, you know what I mean? Like just the way my mind was just, bleh, it was just, it was just beer was in my brain, like beer brain. It was just, I have no idea how I made a bit back from the trip alive. Um, but that was my turning point was realizing that I was a shithead and I, and I was not the person I wanted to be. And I really didn't know who I was anymore. Um, that was my turning point to change who I was and get away from the person that I was um, because I, I didn't know who I was. I was not Alex. I was I was beer brain. I was just this weird ass person. Um, but that's kind of like why I stopped drinking. And then um, and then uh, I found a video yesterday in my iCloud and I wanted to play it for you right now. Um, sorry, I'm actually gonna turn this. Sorry for all the noise in the background. They're doing landscape or something next door. That's not right. Where are you? There you are. Um, this video I just found yesterday, and I smiled so big because I found it yesterday. And it was just so symbolic. And just listen to what I say at the end of the video compared to what it is today because it's, it, it's, it's symbolic. somebody and doing what's better for me and <clears throat> also there's gonna be a buzzing sound that's because I had a case at the time that was completely wrapped around my phone and I didn't realize that it was gonna have like a reverberation noise um, because it was completely encased um, so I apologize for the buzzing noise I can't do anything about that that was part of me fucking up back then so just ignore it. anyways this is um, April 26th 2017 if you can do the math you'll figure out when that was but uh, this is really, really cool. Just enjoy it with me, please. Rather than give this away to somebody, I'm doing what's better for me and doing this right in front of my own eyes, so I don't know that it's actually happening. Uh, I, 
I'm crying right now. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I have tissues up here. Uh, I'm so glad that today it's happy tears. I was 37 days sober then. Uh, and now I'm 1,826. You can do it. I'm doing it. Oh my god. That's... So, you could just... This is genuinely... This is genuine happiness right now. I mean, I know I'm all over the place sometimes, but this is genuine happiness right now because I cannot believe that that video surfaced yesterday and I watched it and I was like... Because that's a fifth of absolute Citroen vodka. That's what I drug usually um, because it had a flavor of like 7-Up to it. So I would just chug that right out of the bottle, no chaser. Um, that was like my drink of choice. That was my... If I was not in the mood for beer, I would just chug that straight out of the bottle until there's nothing left in it. Um, that would be my nightly, daily... Oh my god, stop with the landscaping. Um, that would be my daily alcohol intake. Was the entire fifth of absolute Citroen vodka. It was absolutely disgusting. Um, and now here I am five years later and I haven't had a drop, drop of alcohol since. Um, so that was April 26, 2017, and I dumped out the entire, I, I don't know why I still had it sitting in my room, but I, um, you know, made a video of myself dumping it out. I think it was to my friend Chris that I visited in North Carolina, um, saying like, hey, I, dump, I dumped it out, here's the video proof, it's not, there's nowhere, no, nowhere here. Um, and then me saying, yeah, I'm 37 days sober, let's see if I can keep this going, and I'm 1,826 days sober today, so. I did it. Good job. Good job. Pass me. I did it. Um, I don't remember making that video. Not even a little bit. Because that was, ooh, that was 30 days before a, di a different thing that I'll talk about in May. Um, but, uh, God, I was burying so many demons with liquor, and I'm just so proud that I got to this point. And then I'm going to read a post that I made yesterday, and... Oh, man, I made a lot of posts yesterday. Okay, so... I'm just going to read this all out. I'm not going to take any breaks. Uh, I'm not even going to look at the camera. I'm just going to look at this and read it because I'm going to try not to make this video 40 minutes. <laughs> and I think it's already at like 25. So, oh my God, it's loud outside. I am so sorry for this video. Uh, it's celebratory, but, you know, good Lord. Um, okay. My God, I apologize. Anyways, here we go. My doctors have all told me I can never run again. The very last time I ran a prolonged distance was two weeks before my back injury started. I still remember the date. February 11th, 2016. Because I hit my very first recorded six minute mile. I remember literally screaming out in joy and crying. I was so happy. Now that, now that may be the last time I ever ran. Yesterday I took a longer walk than usual and woke up in such a ridiculous amount of pain this morning I cried for over an hour. So the chances of me doing that one last mile run I wanted to do are basically zero. Because even a three-quarter mile walk, walk, destroyed me. These next two back surgeries are going to require a year combined of my life to re recover from. And there's no telling how I'll be on the other side of them. But I want to play it safe. I just want to show strength through pain. But that brings me to this. Tomorrow, today, I celebrate five years sober. So that, in and of itself, is unreal considering how I've been sober 80% or so of this back injury stuff so far. Been sober since March 2017, and the back injury started February 2016. So I've been sober the majority of my back injury. And that shows true strength even through the struggles. To maintain that strength, to fight through the demons and the pain, to stay strong and stay sober despite knowing that it was a great pain reliever. A great pain reliever, sorry. For that first year. It was a temporary, it was temporary pain relief. It did damage to my body over four years, in my mind. I'm better off sober. I'm better off this way. Yes, I still have my demons, but I'm Alex Connor. Yes, I last named myself. It's time you know. And when I was an alcoholic, I had no idea who I was. So I'm glad to know who I am and to be able to work on being a healthier person from here forward. And I have a typo in there. Thanks to all my friends and family that have stuck by me through all of this. It's been a very long road in such a short amount of time. I've had to grow up real fast this past decade and it hasn't been fun. At times. But I'll get to a better place soon. Sorry you've had to watch me through my worst, but it's better than not watching it all. Because if I had kept drinking, I wouldn't be here to type this post. That was the whole post. Um, 
that's how I ended the post, was basically saying if I had kept drinking, there wouldn't have been a post to type because I wouldn't be here. Um, and that's not to say that I would have intentionally, you know, d done something. It's that the liquor would have killed me. Um, you know, right, right after I stopped drinking, my gallbladder died, and my doctors told me, like, we don't know how, with how much you're drinking, <laughs> more stuff hasn't died already. They're like, we've, we've had people that are, you know, chronic alcoholics from their, from age, like, 14, you know, that drink way more than you, that are resilient, that have resilient bodies that will just never break down. Um, and we've had the exact opposite, where they're dead by 17. Um, and they're like, in your body is... 150 pounds soaking wet at the time. No, not so much. But at the time, I was like 150 pounds soaking wet, and they're like, we don't know how to explain how this is happening to you. Um, like, how you're still here. Um, they're like, but be grateful that you're still here, and, and take the fact that only your gallbladder has come out, a non-essential organ, um, take that as a, as a stepping stone to being a better person going forward, and I have. And I'm here 1,826 days later from that last drip, uh, sip of alcohol. And <clears throat> that video that surfaced yesterday where I'm pouring out the fifth of vodka saying, Hey, I'm 37 days sober. Let's see if I can keep this going. Yay me. And I get to sit here today and say I'm five, five years sober. Five years sober. And uh, it's very, very, very very, very, just pretend I said very 50 more times unreal, that this is real life. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, the, the hypocrisy and ironic, uh, ironic, nope, uh, irony <laughs> um, in, in what I'm saying is just that it's unreal that this is real. Um, but uh, it is, and I'm here, and I'm glad I'm here. Um, but every day I wake up, it's it's another day that is a gift, and I try to make each day a better one, and I try to not take it for granted. Sorry for all the landscaping people next door, um, but I am just super happy to be able to share my life on here. I know that's become kind of like just my own therapy, and I'm not really tackling major issues right now and I apologize for that in a sense of like I'm sorry that I'm not tackling issues and spreading awareness but I'm also spreading awareness through my own experiences and I hope that's not coming off arrogant or selfish um, I don't mean it to um, and I don't know if that's the way it's coming across and if it is I, I truly don't mean it to be um, but in learning that I may have a mental health disorder that was misdiagnosed 12 years ago. I'm still on that journey. It's just I gotta get my back fixed first. Um, I will learn things about myself. I'm pretty sure that I will... It's not gonna like, make me spiral, but it's probably gonna make me question some things that I've done in the past again. Um, and uh, there's another major issue that I'm, I'm tackling this week, actually. Um, once I'm in surgery recovery, I'm going to get on the fucking phone and finally start to tackle it. Um, it's the dark secret that I've been hiding. I finally told someone, um, and, uh, well, I kind of told them they kind of guessed and they were right. So, um, someone knows it out there in the world, um, you know, and they said they, su they support my journey to, to, fix the situation that I'm in, um, and, uh, we'll, we'll see where that goes, but, uh, it, it's, it's gonna be a rough road, but just for today, I'm just celebrating, and it's 75 degrees outside, so I'm gonna go enjoy the weather, and go take a walk, and go take a ride in my Jeep, because I just bought my Jeep last year, and it has a sunroof, and I haven't really been able to enjoy it yet, because I've been sick the whole time, um, well, I was sick the whole time that I bought the car, and it was nice weather, and then, uh, back in August, and then it was winter, so, <laughs> so I really haven't been able to enjoy that sunroof, so I'm going to go enjoy the sunroof and go take a walk somewhere, and then uh, onwards to Wednesday, and uh, Wednesday my surgery should be happening. Um, I erased it from my calendar, but I called my insurance this morning, and they are going to call back soon and verify, and it looks like it will be happening, so um, 
I don't know what my next video will be, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to make a video. I'm going to try to make a video next week. Um, regardless of what is happening with my body. Um, and then Friday, April 8th, on my birthday, I'm going to make a video. And then I'm just like foreshadowing deep into the future. May 19th, for sure, I'm making a video because those two, I mean, my birthday and May 19th hold very deep and very gut wrenching. Uh, experiences, um, and then, yeah, there's, there's one story I've been trying to get to for a very long time, and I, see, like, May, I'll probably thought of May, I was gonna try to get to it next week, but I, May is the anniversary of something that happened, and I think I'm gonna save it for May, um, let's just save it for May, I'm gonna save it for May, so next week I'll come up with something. Um, but May, I will, I will tell a story I have not told a single soul, not my best friend, I haven't even journaled about it, I've only thought about it up here. Um, I mean, not th it's a, it's, it's a true, it's, it's gonna be a true, a true event. Um, uh, I, I, the true event series I started, like, two years ago, and I haven't really gotten back to, I'm gonna get back to that, and I'm gonna tell a true event that happened. Um, but I have not told a single soul, and I have not journaled about it. I probably should have, and I haven't told a therapist about it. Probably should have. And you, I, the, YouTube will be the first place I ever tell anybody. Um, and that video is going to be. Oh, oh, oh that video is going to be rough. Um, it, I, I know I've said this about a lot of videos, but that video is going to be the most difficult one, um, just because I've never told anyone. Like I, I've literally never even said the words out loud. Um, and pretty sure nobody actually knows besides me and that person, and there's something about that person that, like, they'll figure out in the video, but it's, that'll come out probably May, oh crap, that's the same week as May 19th, I'll, I'll figure out a date and I'll let you know when we get closer, but, um, next week, uh, look out for the video on 30th, I'll try to get back to my Wednesday schedule, uh, sorry, my last few weeks have been a little off kilter, I had one, I had 12 things happen in the last 14 days <laughs> um, that were like, you know, car appointments and, and uh, like friend dates and dates with, uh, or not, not dates, but like uh, going out with family and friends and all this other stuff. So I, I had things going off all the time and dentist appointments and everything. So, and my back's been killing me. So I just was trying to focus on getting things all situated before I had my surgery done. So, um, now I'm just rambling. Um, everybody have a great week coming up. Have a great weekend coming up, even though the weekend just passed. Um, and I will see everybody next week. Uh, take care of yourselves. Um, take care of each other. Tell someone you care about them today, because you never know when your time is up. I mean, every day for me is a, is a gift that I'm still here. So um, I definitely tell someone that I care about them every day. Um, and then they usually t tell me back, like, I get it. You do. And I'm like, hey. At least I'm telling you. <laughs> like, you know, it's better than me not saying it. Like, come on. Um, so, yeah. Sometimes you're going to get that that person that says, like, we get it, Alex. You're, you, we get it. Just shut up. But um, at least, you know, they know. So, that's that's better than not, than better than them not knowing. Um, but, yeah. With that being said, five years sober. Yay. Sobriety's my superpower. Yay. And uh, thanks, everybody, for your love and support. And uh, see you next week.